Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend messages reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from Saturday the 24th to Sunday the 25th of July 2021. So I hope you're well. Uh, I'm going to start shuffling Libra. Libra, these are mini tarot readings, as you know by now, where we look at the top line energies or messages. Those cards have just fallen, so I'm going to take them. Um, when we look at the top line energies or messages that are around you at this time and remember these readings can resonate for a few days longer than when they're released and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so we have the hermit the king of swords five of wands And we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups energy, okay. So King of Swords is Gemini Aquarius energy, it can also be Libra Aquarius Gemini, male or female energy. So this could be your energy here. Um, so Libra, there is an energy of needing to take a step back. Um, there's an energy of somebody who, though actually I'm getting in this energy more, let's clarify that five of wands, temperance, okay, so someone needs to take a step back, get perspective on a situation. Uh, the King of Swords is somebody who has that bird's eye view, the bird's eye picture of all he sees. You can see he's got this kind of like 360 view of his world. He sits on top of a mountain or on top of a cliff sometimes and is somebody who gets a higher perspective of a situation and from that they understand how to make choices, decisions, on their future, on dealing with situations. So there's a need of you from above here, indefinitely feeling. And it's to do with this, the hermit energy. Healing, uh, finding answers from within, on how you need to take action in your external environment. So both of these energies are wanting to um, heal something, um, get past something overcome something in your energy and we have the five of wands uh, it feels like an issue that is going round and round in circles and that king of swords is a wonderful energy with the five of wands because it is about taking a step back to get perspective to get a view from above on your situation because there's an energy of understanding how to deal with it um, and, you know, see the truth of the situation. What's at the very core of this thing? Uh, that, you know, the five of wands is something that goes round and round in circles. It causes conflict, but it's a conflict that goes round and round and round in circles. And it's almost kind of like you can give oxygen to this if you're not careful. It's almost like someone is getting a, taking a step back. How do I heal this? How do I sort it out? And that's where temperance comes in, which is a card of getting balance back. How do we find a common ground, a common way forward? Finding the middle ground in a situation. Uh, it can be a card of reconciliation, um, uh, finding balance, bringing balance back to a situation. It can be in terms of relationships in whatever context whether that's to do with work, whether that's to do with a love relationship, whether it's to do with family or friendships. So there needs to be a view from above here in order to understand how to deal with something and sort it out. You can see his expression, it's perfect. How do I deal with that? What's the best approach? What's the strategy for this? You know, it feels that kind of energy. Because we have the Nine of Cups here, which is a card of happiness, joy, uh, it's a card of wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, but it's also a card of coming together, celebration, uh, reasons to be thankful here, 
um, sometimes it can represent uh, a bountiful energy, so good food, um, drink, uh, that sharing energy, you know, it, it just feels a celebratory energy here. And I'm getting in this energy, there is an opportunity to bring some kind of conflict with somebody to a close. Now, this could be you wanting to do that, Libra. You know, you're all about balance, aren't you? Uh, and liking to be in balance and liking to find a common ground. It feels for some of you, you're wanting to find some kind of solution, uh, find some common ground, bring some balance back to a situation that's been going round and round in circles and it's a situation of conflict and I feel in this situation you're going to find that in the next few days um, find that solution finding the middle ground yeah and I love I love this picture because you can see the rainbow in the distance you know it's almost kind of like the, the rainbow after the rain kind of energy uh, that I'm getting there and it, it just feels in this situation whatever this struggle or conflict has been I feel for some of you you're finding some kind of way through it you're finding the solution and uh, bringing balance back reconciling with somebody yeah so we have elephant grounding Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Yeah, this is somebody who's, who's got a practical approach here. And it's almost kind of like you're just calming everything down. And you'll never guess what the next one is, Libra. Can you guess it? <laughs> We've got the bigger picture. <laughs> Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Yeah. If you take a step back, the solution presents itself. There we have it. And that is the message from Spirit for You. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's the wonderf a wonderful week for you or weekend for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you, Libra.